Hey guys, have you ever been reading the Bible and, and getting revelation and then just wonder, man, am I qualified to do this? Got a minute? But it might be useful for us to look at the historical significance of us being able to have a Bible in our house right now. Back in the time with Martin Luther, the only ones that were allowed to read the Bible were those that were of the, the clergy. This meant that any of the leadership of the church were allowed to read the scriptures, but no one else was. Not that as many people were literate at the time, but a big change that happened was the, the printing press of the 1500s. With the scriptures now in everyone's hands, there was a lot that was going on in the world, and there was a lot of change that happened in a very short amount of time. So during this time, as people were looking at the scriptures and finding their own interpretations and their own revelations, there was a lot of split. So I don't want to ignore the fact that, yes, you know, like there can be some inherent danger to us being able to have a personal relationship with God. What I am saying is that we have to keep that humbleness in our spirit. So at some point along the way, we thought that our revelation was better than another. And so there was a denomination that was created and there was a split here and there was a split here. Denominational gaps and schisms have have fractured the church for years to where it's so hard for us to actually come together as one body. Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. So I recommend as you're diving into scripture, dive in with other people. Share your revelations and listen to the revelation of others. And then you can go back and you can take those things and look at the same scriptures and start to see different things from different viewpoints. If you can use your personal time with God in order to draw other people closer as well and they can do the same for you, then it is a win-win. It is iron sharpening iron. Thanks for taking a minute.